One of the most impressive aspects of mobile platforms in 2013 was the sheer number of new apps and services that arrived for each platform. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and these are my best app finds for 2013. Ask anyone. 2013 was a great year for the mobile industry. A lot of companies hit a ton of milestones, such as Google's and Apple's respective digital content stores hitting a staggering 1 million applications each. Being the app hoarder I am, of course, I picked up a handful of new applications and services myself. And these are my best app finds of 2013. I do the vast majority of my shopping online. While Google Now does a decent job of keeping me up to date on the shipping status of most of the things I order, it's severely limited in functionality. So I sought out a mostly automated method for tracking packages via mobile. Eventually, I stumbled upon Package Buddy Pro. It's available on Android for $1.99. Simply drop any tracking number in the application, add a memo with the name of the item, and let the application do the rest of the work. From within the app, you can view detailed tracking history, the courier's website, as well as a map showing the route. You can also see the package history, which syncs with your account, as well as a horde of settings to tweak. Most of you already know I'm a huge fan of Action Launcher. It's one of the most unique and straightforward launcher replacements for Android, with one of the most clever developers around behind the project. It implements things like quick drawer and covers for one of the most no-nonsense experiences yet. It's only getting better with each update, and I look forward to seeing where the developer takes it in 2014. Another great Android find this year was Dash Clock Widget, created by Google's own Roman Nurek. The widget itself is very plain and simple, a different take on the standard digital clock widget, but Nurek added a very useful feature, which has become the highlight of Dash Clock, extensions. They range from battery stats and weather updates to storage and CPU information, and much, much more. A few months ago, I created a video dedicated to the best Dash Clock extensions, so click the link below for more info on Dash Clock. Clipper Plus is easily one of the most useful utility applications I found in 2013. One thing all mobile platforms are missing is a clipboard history. Samsung includes this on its Galaxy devices, but stock Android, Windows Phone, and iOS are missing this incredibly useful feature. Clipper Plus is a solution for that on Android devices. Copy all the things you want or need to copy. To later access those clippings, simply pull down the notification shade, tap the ongoing Clipper notification, and select the clipping you need to paste. You're immediately shot back into the application you started in, ready to paste. Clipper is free, though the upgrade to Clipper Plus costs $1.99 and includes sync across multiple devices. As the new social media manager for Pocket Now and with some of the social accounts I run on the side, I'm a very social guy. The only way I've been able to manage is through using Buffer. It's available on Android and iOS, and it allows me to post to multiple accounts on various social platforms simultaneously. You can also create an automated individual schedule for each account, schedule future posts manually, and even see analytics for those posts after they go live. This application is a must for anyone who uses multiple social accounts and has the habit of sharing a lot of links and pictures. Speaking of links, I try my best to keep up with the happenings on the internet through the new Dig application. It's a simple, yet very beautiful application. There, I find popular stories to then send to Buffer. I've recently fallen in love with podcasts, but several months before finding some great podcasts to listen to, I discovered Pocket Casts through a colleague. It's easily the most beautiful podcast catcher out there. But more important than that is the mess of features found inside. Create a Pocket Casts account and you can sync your subscribed podcasts, along with your position in any casts you're currently listening to across multiple devices both Android and iOS. You can also create smart playlists, which will download certain types of podcasts based on the criteria you set. It's one of the more expensive apps in this list at $3.99, but it's well worth the cost of a cup of coffee if you're a fan of any podcasts. I take a lot of photos, and I also edit most before I share them on any platform. Snapseed is my choice editor for quick edits, but if I want to get more involved and make edits which are typically only done on a computer, I break out Photoshop Touch for phone. It was released in early 2013, and it's incredible. There's a learning curve to it, but if you're used to any professional photo editing software, you should be able to figure out this app relatively quickly. And once you do, the sky is the limit. This one is well worth the $4.99 price tag. There are many other applications I found in 2013, but the list has to end somewhere. Please, feel free to share your favorite apps from last year in the comments section below. That's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to click the thumbs up button below and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this one in the future. 
Leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions, and be sure to follow us in all the usual places, Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus at PocketNow. I'm Taylor Martin. You can find me on Twitter at Casper Tech, and I will see you next time.